Hello, and now in this exercise, exercise three, we have a sailboat sail. It is triangular in shape. It has a height of 14 feet. It has the length along the base of six feet. Uh, and we're also given that the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Write a program that calculates the area and displays the result. So again, I'm naming these variables what I'd like to name them. Height, base, and something to store the answer. I'm calling it area. I'm storing the values. The height is 16. The base is 6. Everything's terminated by a semicolon. And then the value of the result, which is area, is base times height divided by 2. So here I have multiplication. And then I have division. And I'm printing it out through the print line statement. Uh, the area of the sale is blank. And then I'm putting the answer and then space square feet. So let's see what happens when we execute this guy. It's already saved. We'll hit this. The area of the sale is 42 square feet. Now one thing to just be aware of here. I set this problem up specifically because I knew that if you take 6 times 14 you're going to get an even number. And you can divide an even number by 2 without any problem and get the exact answer. So when you calculate the area of the sale you, the answer really is 42 square feet. But because I chose an integer for the area I might run into problems if if I have uh, a height and a base that are you know not perfect like this. Like if I have you know 33 for the height and maybe like three uh, for for the uh, base or something like that, that might give me an odd number when I multiply them together. When you divide by two, you're going to have a problem. The real answer will have a decimal or a fractional result, but you're not going to see that here because we're storing the answer in an integer which can only store whole numbers. So just kind of keep that in mind. Later on we're going to introduce different types of variables that can store fractional answers or decimal points. And we'll get to those a little bit later, but for now this is how you calculate something uh, that has, involves multiplication and division and output the result.